Hello everyone and welcome back to Captain of Industry and the view of our lumber cargo ship just pulling into port there and starting to get unloaded. Ah, we have got a lot of things on the go across our colony at the moment and generally speaking things are coming together quite nice. In the last episode the big uh, upgrade was glass and all of the things that has unlocked and we can see some of those things trundling around. My god, that you from top down you really get a sense of scale on just how enormous these trucks are compared to the basic ones i wonder if the same is yes the same is very much true of the expanded excavator versus the basic ones as well that is absolutely glorious to, to behold but we've got a couple of things that we need to do today uh right uh, probably the first thing actually i would like to look at is exhaust filtration right now to set up exhaust filtration, and as much as I am very keen on making use of every bit of something we can have and, and recycling it, and this would actually allow for something very, very nice, in that if we could get to the point that we were producing 96 exhaust every 60 seconds, uh, then that would produce 48 low steam every 60 seconds, which is exactly the amount that is required for a low steam turbine. So we could actually tap on a little bit of extra power and then further reclaim the uh, completely depleted steam in back into water but it would add more sulfur and it would also add a bit more co2 and these things are a little bit more tricky for us to deal with right now um, so I'm actually favoring putting a halt on this and instead instead either going straight for naphtha reforming or going for wooded alternative now both of these have a fairly uh, strong uh, strong arguments to be made for them. Naphtha would give us a little bit more diesel, and we are using quite a lot of diesel, though we would more or less have to dump the sour water because we haven't yet got enough room to accommodate recapturing that. The wood alternative would, in a way, both of these would help us with diesel. Because if we went for wood alternative, then it would allow us to reduce our dependency on diesel in two ways. One, Right now, we're having to dump a lot of diesel into our cargo ship to go and grab wood. And then we're having to dump a lot of diesel into our trucks, which are carrying the wood all the way up here to deliver to both our uh, industry for making furniture and the industry for making construction parts. So, with that in mind, if we switch this over to steel, then that steel could just be brought straight from there. And it's not like we're going to run out of iron anytime soon. So I'm actually in favor of going for the world alternative a lot earlier than I was expecting. Following that, we'll move on to naphtha reforming because that's something I would like to get on the go sooner rather than later. And on the, the topic of sooner rather than later, oh, we've got a new excavator. Marvelous, marvelous. What would we like to do with you? I could get you down here so you can help clear out this area a little bit faster. That would actually be quite useful or we could pop you up. I think we're gonna pop you up here let's be honest uh, we want to get through this as quickly as we can and for this I'm gonna grab yet another truck off the general uh, general conveyor line for trucks we're gonna continue building more large trucks as time goes on in fact I'm gonna queue up another one straight away and as these get made I'm gonna pull in two regular trucks each time a large truck is finished and scrap that for parts and that way we are always maintaining quite a large um, in fact we're expanding our logistics capacity at all times we're not simply replacing uh, like for like in in uh, terms of uh, logistics throughput uh, we would also like to get this expanded out a little bit I'm actually getting quite close to uh, thinking of setting up a second line there uh, we'll see how that one goes but back on the topic of getting things done nice and quickly I think it might be time to drop down another research lab. Now, I can't easily put it there, and uh, that is a shame, but I could relatively comfortably just rotate this around and have the two research labs kind of opposite each other. Um, you could even have them right next to each other. Is there a door there? Uh, yeah, there kind of is. You know what? Let's, let's leave a little bit of a gap. Uh, this I might get frustrated with this later and, and replace it, but... That's fine for now. Uh, we'll have two research labs. We easily have the unity to make that happen, so that shouldn't be a problem. How much more people can be a reasonable amount? I'm going to allow them to push that up to max pop, and then I'm going to turn off pop growth. But additionally, and possibly one of the things that uh, people were a little bit sad that we didn't get to in the last episode, we've got glass. And with glass comes greenhouses. 
Uh, let's have a look. Fertility is actually doing okay, but I definitely feel it's time for us to upgrade to the greenhouse. And there's no better time to do that than now, so let's just clonk, pop that in there. Now, the problem with glass is we actually don't have enough of it. Uh, enough storage, at least. We can only store up to 180. Uh, but as you saw there, greenhouse 320, so I'm thinking probably worth our while popping down another uh, another storage there. Another thing that would be probably useful is actually popping down another storage over here as well for exactly the same reason. So let's go ahead and do these two first. We'll do them a bit at a time. Uh, I think that's probably going to be uh, the wiser move. Uh, same with uh, rubber and same with salt. Let's get all of those on the go as we can, then we'll double up that line. Our excavators over here have been doing a fantastic job of, of clearing things out so that we can easily do this and have that bit of extra storage. Down here, we are expanding out the docks, of course, for the uh, eventual um, implementation of our naphtha reforming, so we'll get a little bit more diesel out of that, squeeze a little bit more efficiency out of everything that we can. Now, with all of that done, I think it may be time for us to send out our ship. Uh, I would like to prepare the next oil rig. We've got 75 workers available. That seems like a reasonable thing to do, so go ahead, start loading that up, if indeed you could. So we've got a bunch of things to do. I could quick deliver for uh, the, the very cheap, cheap price of 3.1 Unity, and um, no, because I would be pulling material that would be wanted over here. I'm actually going to give this priority. I want that greenhouse up and running ASAP. Please and indeed, thank you. Uh, how are we doing over here with the oil? Uh, we've only got 4% left, so this is really going to be wrapped up very soon. In the moment that is wrapped up, this entire uh, plant gets wrapped up as well. But I think what we're going to do then, uh, since we don't have anything else to worry about, is we may as well go out for a little bit more of an explore. Uh, down here seems like a reasonable place to poke our noses in, uh, but over here as well, yeah, sure, let's uh, let's get over there. Unfortunately, we're very far away from the point where we're going to be able to do two explorations in one go. We are going to need a much larger fuel tank for that, unfortunately, but hopefully we can get to that one relatively quickly. But with that, I think uh, we've laid down a couple of plans, so I'm going to speed up time and bring you back when some of those plans have been realized, namely the production of the greenhouse. So see you in a few moments. And all we've found at the new area is some rubber, a couple more pops, copper and electronics. That is a big hooray for the electronics, actually, because we're going to be using those to make another excavator. But at this point, we've now got so many people that uh, we definitely need to stop growing the population. Uh, what's up over here? Ah, you can no longer get over there. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to be turning export and import off because we are very rapidly building out all of these storages. There we go. That should be uh, plenty of time. And you're back just in time to see the greenhouse be built. In fact, let's speed this up so we can uh, see. I love that effect. There's something so remarkably enjoyable about just watching this gradually get built. It, it kind of uh, has the same sort of impact as watching a base just erupt out of the ground in Command and Conquer. It is very, very satisfying. Uh, though it's taken quite a long time to... This is a, a maximum speed as well. The, these greenhouses are really no joke. They are very, very big. Uh, right, we don't want to import at this destination. We only want exports going on here. In fact, that should be true of all of them. Uh, it said every single one to only export. There we go, and that should very quickly get all those done. There'll be a very slight impact to the overall uh, production of some of those materials not being able to get out there, but we are almost done with the greenhouse, thankfully, and our victorious vessel has returned. Hooray. Uh, now, to make you, I need f uh, 60, and I've only got 55 components. Uh, yes, yeah. so we're going to have to go straight back out there, though we're going to need some iron in order to get that all sorted. We do have our second uh, research facility all up already, and there we go. Right, let's pause this for a moment. Now, the output from this is going to be significant, but I would still like to reduce the amount of crop rotation there. It is a shame because, uh, oh, well, actually, is it outputting anything at all right now? Uh, we should be fine. That, that food is going to all filter through, so it'll be okay. It's delayed for three months, but it should be okay. It's getting plenty of water now. It's got loads of fertility 
we should see this output a quite a hefty amount of food based on the based on the fact that we're now using a greenhouse uh you're up in the uh green stage so we're actually going to go ahead and prioritize this again let's get that made this will unfortunately delay the production of some more of our of our trucks because uh, the glass is being given massive priority to be sent to the farms uh we'll set this up according there we go that should take care of things it will take a little bit to get all the components down there oh actually uh no we should be fine by the time that we've made all of the glass we will have constructed all of the construction parts three that shouldn't be too much of an issue for us though there are some very unhealthy looking cues they're not happy about that at all but the glass uh the glass furnaces and glass makers are actually working quite uh, quite uh, well, there's a, we've pretty much got a complete smooth production line there. I think it would be well worth our, the effort, though, to expand out the storage. So why don't we just do a little bit of something to that end. Uh, let's pop that there and then pause it. And yeah, we'll um, promptly delete this. Some of the glass will get shifted to another location, but that's fine. We then want to cancel that. Not prioritize it. There's the opposite of canceling it, Avec. Uh, there we are. Hopefully the uh, trucks will be able to pick all of this up. And there we go. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, we've still got a little bit to be picked up. My lord. Oh, well, I suppose they are they are actually having to clear off the the, the glass first as well, which is uh, always a bit of an interesting one. I do love the, the attention to detail like that that this game has. A lot of games wouldn't necessarily worry about that. Would uh, kind of magic the materials where they need to be. And to be fair, this game does do that a little bit in a couple of uh, spots. But there is a lot of attention to detail here, and I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I'm getting a little bit impatient though. The boom, there we go. Let's just magic that away. <laughs> we were just talking about magicking. Uh, there we are. Let's get this done. It's a little bit different when you're doing content on it though, because uh, I am very aware of the amount of time it takes to get things done. Right, uh, once again, we'll just... Oh, we are out of construction. Oh, there we are, never mind. It was on the way. It wasn't that we didn't have it. I was going to say, how on earth are we out of it? That seems very suspect, but there we go. That's actually wonderful. And that's a fair bit of glass there backed up, which will immediately get sent down. Uh, we've got you on the go. Hopefully this won't take too long. We've already got all the glass there, so now it's purely waiting on the construction parts Three. Now, that does pose some issues. Um, well, actually, it looks like we are prior... No, we are prioritizing into uh, back of there. I guess what I could do is I could remove the prioritize and allow it to just go out, and then I could do the same over here. Just for the time being, let's split them up and get everything on the move. Now, we are almost done with wood alternatives, which is going to be absolutely marvellous. Again, like I said, that, in a way, there we go, is going to end up saving us uh, diesel in a lot of different directions. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and pause this here. And I am promptly going to switch over the recipe. Now, instead of taking 24 wood, it's going to take 6 steel. Uh, it'll produce the same amount of materials, but this is going to be huge, so... Instead of this being for wood now, this will be for steel, uh, eventually. Actually, I suppose what I should do is allow them to finish off uh, working through this, and we'll just kind of switch them all over. But I'm no longer going to allow any imports, so we're going to shut that down. That being said, I could just uh, demolish... Uh, well, actually, hmm. yeah, I could empty it for the time being. I will allow them to use the, the wood that's available. Uh, same over here, empty this for now. And we are going to swap this over to using steel as well. And as soon as I can, I will get those set up for steel. But the one big thing that we need, and it is a bit of a shame in a way, uh, we need to stop loading this up. So, uh, yeah, our lumber yard can have zero shifts. We're going to just pause that. There we go. Uh, we'll pop it down onto a single shift and then pause it. Uh, I, there is cargo there, but we can easily pick that up ourselves. Now, can we send our ship out? Yes, we can. So let's get on out there. We've not really taken a lot of time to explore the area around, to be honest. So there's uh, quite a lot that we can do. And now that I've removed the lumber, we've got an awful lot of uh, spare workers there. So one of the things that we should probably start doing is getting this set up. Now, it's going to take us a bit of time to get all of those materials 
uh, manufactured and sent over to the ship, that should be okay. Uh, hopefully we're getting these through little by little. It will be a slow process as we fill this up. But once that's completely full, then everything is going to start getting uh, an equal amount of material. This is getting emptied out quite quickly, which is grand. And as soon as we can, we will switch this over to accepting only steel. Uh, how's it going over there? It's going reasonably well over there as well, actually. Right, there we go. Right, time for steel. Not emptying on this. We only want import, no export. There we go. We want the steel to be kept relatively full at all times. And at this point, no more wood. There we are. I wonder if they'll be able to collect that wood or if that wood will just basically sit there forever now. Doesn't really bother me one way or the other, if I'm perfectly honest, but uh, it's an interesting question all the same. Now, we do have absolute... Oh, ah, uh, well. I was about to say, we've got buckets of steel, but maybe we don't. Uh, we have been building a lot of things recently, so maybe I'm making a uh, rather bold move by switching over both industries to use steel. Uh, might want to hold back on that one for a little while. Uh, that being said, is this requiring... Ah, uh, yes, it's requiring incredible amounts of steel over here. So that that is part of the reason why that has taken a bit of time. That's fine, though. All right, let's go and check out... Uh, oh, we've discovered a new settlement. Well, well, well. Uh, we can trade Construction Parts 3 for Electronics. That is absolutely marvellous. We can also get a little bit of extra food if we need to now with diesel, which is perfect. And, in fact, we can get iron ore with it as well. That's uh, very, very nice. Okay. Perfect. Well, that will be a fantastically useful uh, addition to our fleet. Now, I'm probably going to just keep this here for now. It's not going to be able to do anything because it's kind of overburdened with wood. I, I guess I should and uh, possibly could uh, allow wood over here for that. We could just work through the wood that we've got, I suppose. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll allow imports on, turn exports off, and uh, bump that up. We'll allow the furniture to be made of wood rather than steel. And to be fair, that's probably going to be more comfortable for our colonists as well. It'd certainly be more comfortable for our steel supply. I would like to see how this um, recovers once we're no longer building a bunch of greenhouses with it. Uh, we might have to hold off on building the third greenhouse as a direct consequence of that one. Uh, that being said, though, I think it may be time for us to start the process of building all of this out over here. And to that end, let's make sure that everything is where it needs to be. Uh, I think there was where we wanted it. Right about there, indeed. And now we basically need to mirror this design. So bring that up here and straight across. There we go. Nice and easy. I could have also just run it in there, but uh, well, make a fact, I probably should have, really. Though this does offer me an output point if I really wanted it. Um, no, I think this is, I think this is uh, probably uh, a safe enough route to take. We're going to need to get the uh, sour water out. Uh, that'll only take us a little bit of work, though. Uh, sorry, yeah, the um, ammonia, rather, not sour water. Let's pop that there. Uh, can we go up and over? I think so. So let's come one step out, just so that we're not trying to rise on a bend. There we are. Uh, we are then going to want some steam. Going straight down there. Perfect. And then the sour water from the eventual uh, second stack of refineries all set up. Now, our trucks are not going to be able to get around here. This is entirely going to have to be unity related. So let's go ahead and just build all of this. As you can see, we're in a fairly healthy place as far as Unity goes, so that is not a concern for me. Uh, let's get all of that done. This is going to take a little bit more time to get up and running, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to be slowly building this. Uh, people are just going to have to hand over hand it for the foreseeable future. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's going to have to be. Uh, we'll fill out the rest of this with large trucks. And how are we doing over here? We're actually still waiting on the next delivery of uh, Tier 3 construction material. So uh, hopefully we're going to start seeing steel back up a little bit more. If not, we may have to expand out this smelting block. 
That would be awkward, considering I built that there. But not entirely outside of our, the realm of, of our possibilities. I would like to have uh, steel smelting near the iron smelting block. Glass could move. Uh, realistically speaking, I could put glass more or less anywhere else. That just seemed like a reasonable place to store it for us. But I could shunt it up a little bit, but that would impact on our ability to expand out our construction materials. Which is not exactly something I'm looking to do. The, the whole point of building them here is so that I could continue to expand them out. But we may need to uh, to address, the, uh, sorry, uh, reassess those plans moving forward. Uh, we have doubled up all of our um, containers over here, though, so that's wonderful. So everything down here is now doing a little bit of extra work. How on earth have you managed to get those construction parts over here? I call shenanigans. Massive shenanigans over there. Magic trucks, apparently. Okay, well, uh, I, I'm all right with that, but wow. Uh, however, we could, at this point, afford to... Well, actually, there's not much that we would need. I guess I could go for maintenance reducer. Just to pull down the amount of steel being used in our maintenance supplies. That's definitely an option. Uh, cargo. Got a bunch of materials here. We are still loading this, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> that is probably one of the big reasons why that is all over the place. I'm, I'm, I'm doing too many jobs simultaneously. I should learn my bloody lesson, but oh well. Uh, this needs to be a reasonably high uh, priority, but let's have a look. Steel over here is priority 5, so this probably should be priority 6 then. Uh, I definitely want that steel getting loaded, please, and thank you. Let's see if someone will start working on that now. Are you bringing along some steel? No, you are not. Is anyone going to be bringing along steel? I'm a little concerned. Uh, let's have a look down here. Someone just grabbed a bunch of steel and is heading off somewhere. You're not delivering it over here, are you? Where are you delivering the steel to? Oh. Right. Of course, that does make an awful lot of sense, actually. Well, still, that's a priority eight uh, delivery job, so this really should get a bit of a higher priority. Okay, there we go. Now that we've set that up, that should actually start moving through. It only requires six per um, construction material, so that should be fine. Or rather, six per uh, 60 seconds to produce 24. So there we go. Things are starting to move again. That was a little bit hairy, and that was, that was on me for telling my uh, trucks to do all of the things all at once. Never the brightest uh, move, that one. But looking over here, this should now be more than capable. Once we've got two of these up and running, we will probably start digging ourselves out of the low food warning threshold. But I think we're probably already food positive, if I'm perfectly honest. So I'm not over worried about that. But we have completed method reforming. Fantastic. Now then, next thing that we could look at, we could go for housing three. Do we really need more people at the moment? I would say we don't need more people at the moment. But what I would like to do is to actually get ship bridge two, then ship engine two. These are things that we've been kind of waiting on for quite some time. If we can get those up and running, that would be grand. And then I'm going to say it's probably time for us to go ahead and get the next tier of conveyor belts. I don't really feel that we're, we're strapped for throughput on the conveyor belts by and large, but it would certainly help, I think, to, to have that going. Right, okay, well, I'm gonna give a little bit of uh, time to pass. Oh, look at that, it's starting to build up, but we're gonna let uh, time pass at least to uh, get all of the construction parts ready for us to go and set up the next oil rig. So I shall bring you back in a couple of minutes. Well, a couple of seconds for you, I guess. And welcome back. Not only have we completed our greenhouse, not only are we almost complete on the next, we have also loaded all materials ready for our next oil rig. And with that, we have run out of oil on our island. So time for us to decommission this old setup. It has served us well for many, many, many moons. Uh, have we emptied that out? In fact, it doesn't really matter. 
we can expressly empty it out by just telling them to deconstruct that. And that's going to give us a little bit more space over here. I am super duper happy about that one. What I'm not as happy about is uh, the overall amount of food. Uh, that was kind of hovering around there for a little while. But it seems that uh, while I looked away at the oil rigs, everything else is in a bit of a better, better position. Uh, what are you trying to do? You are trying to drop off. Ah, right, yes. No. No to both of those, please and thank you. You work on other things. But it looks like we may have actually resolved our food situation. And indeed, now that we've got greenhouses, we are going to be able to rotate the crops a lot faster and also get a lot more food out of them as well, which is going to be a fantastic help for us. Ultimately, we had enough diesel uh, aside that if we really, really needed to do, we could do a bit of trading. But... With that be, uh, being said, uh, I mean, yeah, we could have we could have easily done it. We've we've easily got enough diesel to be able to run that uh, that trade. <clears throat> but it is time for us to go out and get this one all up and running. There we go. Yeah, that has been a long, long time coming. Uh, how are we doing for wood? We've still got a decent amount of wood just sitting by, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now over here. Things are a little bit slow, uh, unfortunately. But if we have a look down here, we've got 181 steel just sat around, so I don't mind using a little bit of in, uh, unity to get that going. I do apologize, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat at the moment. Let me uh, take a sip of tea. There we go, that is significantly better. Tea fixes absolutely everything. Right, so with that on the go, we've also managed to get a little bit of additional research done. We've got Ship Bridge 2 ready to go and Ship Engine 2 on the way. Once we've got Conveyor Belt 2, I think the next thing we're going to look for is either the Research Lab 4, but I don't know what it's going to be required to build that, or just increasing the efficiency of our fuel stations. I actually think the fuel stations will be the next step in that chain. But... With the uh, the dock f expansion complete over here, uh, one of the things we can look at is expanding out the uh, naphtha reforming. So we're going to need a little bit of steam, but we will get a bit of sour water and a bit of extra diesel out of any excess naphtha. Now to run this one is going to be... Oh, actually, we can easily bring the steam over from there, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, we wanted to see where all of this is coming out. That would actually do quite nicely. We could sort of have this... Hmm, can I flip that around? Yes, I can. That is even better. Even better. Though it does sort of get in the way of some things. See, if I have it rotated like this, whilst that's brilliant for the steam and actually brilliant for the nap that's coming down, it does kind of jut out into this area that I'm not really looking forward to. If I do it like this, then unfortunately the pipeline for the the diesel is going down in the wrong direction. That being said, we probably wanted to bring it up and join in up here realistically, so that might not be the worst option. Uh, this is the output line for the diesel. So actually, yeah, I could just have it run back up and into this splitter. That is going to split items off down the X marked um, pipe first, but then everything else goes down here. <clears throat> Sorry, it seems that uh, I'm going to need regular infusions of tea to fix that frog in my throat. The frog is very thirsty, bless it. Uh, right, but we're going to go ahead and set that up, and I think that is actually one of the better ways to do it. So let's pop this down around here. And it would be a very nice fit if I could get it something like that. It is still going to jut out a little bit, but I don't mind that too terribly much. Right, we'll get you in there. And then we're going to need tier 2 piping all the way out. Let's keep that up on the second level. Uh, something like that would do. And then down and in. There we are. Perfect. Right, that takes in the steam. We then want... How much is this going to be capable of outputting over 60 seconds? Nah, nowhere near an amount that we need to worry about piping down to the uh, to the connection here on a single level one pipe. Did I leave enough room? I don't believe I did. 
Ah, that's a shame. Okay, well, let's quickly redesign this then, because we may as well have this uh, nice and uh, low tier for now, since we don't need the high tier pipe, and then we can just bring this high tier pipe over on level two, as high as that. We can stop there, go down, and then around. That works out absolutely perfectly. Right, we are going to want to make sure that this is set to naphtha reforming. We don't want imports at all. Uh, that should be all set up correctly. Yep, that is. Uh, now then, naphtha. Naphtha is coming out here. And if it cannot go down this pipeline, which heads off uh, both to the boilers over here and to the boilers for the steam generators and also comes down to the rubber maker. So there's a lot of splitters already on this pipe. I think we just get rid of the of the flare stack, honestly. This is effectively here to use up the waste naphtha. So in the case of naphtha, we no longer need to burn it off. And I am absolutely on board with this. I do apologize about the the croakiness of my voice. Hopefully that isn't too distracting. Uh, right, there we are. Some days you just got to keep working, even if your throat isn't feeling tip-top. Right, let's uh, let that go through. I'm going to quick remove this there. I actually probably didn't need to remove that one, thinking about it. Let's get that one rebuilt. Because again, I don't expect that there is ever going to be a lot of naphtha coming through here. Uh, let's keep that up to about here and then go down. This way it can run out and around. Connect up or about there. And it'll look very, very neat and tidy. Now, sadly, we do obviously need to get rid of this sour water. And the system here is not designed to ever accept excess sour water. That being said, this refinery is not going to be running 100% of the time. There is going to be downtime. Uh, we probably will observe that here. Though, with that in mind, uh, the oil rig over here, if we set that one up to three shifts, uh, which is kind of what we're going to need to do, we might find that these two will actually output enough to keep this running most of the time. Though, if we build a second stack, maybe not. So, uh, perhaps we could even have that sour water go back into the whole system. I'm not against that, actually. I'm not against that, but how would we do it, is the question. Uh, sour water, how are you getting down there? This is the sour water pipe. Well, I could have the sour water just run straight up the middle here. Since this is going to be built off to the side, it's basically going to be mirrored on that side. We could absolutely do that. And that would save us having to have any waste resources at all. This will have to come up to three levels, though, to get over here. But I think we can manage that. About there will do. Uh, we want it to line up about there. So let's bring it all the way down to around here and then down to join up on the very lowest level. There we are. That will take care of all of the waste nap there. Now, this is obviously fairly high priority for us, so let's make sure that that is all going through as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, I'm going to quick deliver more or less everything. There we go. We want this to be on the go as swiftly as we can make it. Uh, we are lacking the construction parts, but that's just the way that one's gonna be. Now, if we want to upgrade our ship's engine or the bridge, Provides advanced radar capabilities. We're going to need an awful lot of steel and copper. Ugh. Okay, well, that might be something we need, we're going to need to hang tight on. Uh, at least for now, whilst we rebuild our steel supplies. Because they have been decimated. Uh, but uh, we may actually be sticking with, with wood for a little bit longer. I really did not uh, properly account for the amount of steel that I was going to be dumping into our logistics fleet. Granted, that's only uh, 
a, a one-time cost, really. As, once we've upgraded all of the vehicles, we're not going to be having that as an ongoing cost. But still, it's a little bit of a worry for us. But let's speed things along. Uh, we should get that one done relatively quickly. And we're seeing plenty of vehicles coming down. But the, the big concern here is currently we are not in any way... Uh, backing up our, or rather burning off na uh, naphtha. That said, doesn't look like we need to. It seems that we've got more than enough uh, capacity to use it right now, but uh, having this in play will just make everything a little bit nicer, I think. Uh, let's see. Almost there. Just another three components, and we're, we're sorted with that one. Uh, right, well, as soon as you are refueled, and it looks like you have been, that sent you straight back out and start exploring a little bit more. We're basically on the hunt for corn at the moment. Uh, once we've got corn, then our food woes are permanently over. That being said, it looks like they might actually be permanently over anyway. We've got a larger population than we've ever had before. We've got 26 months of food supply. I could probably afford to remove our food saver uh, edict. And that might actually be uh, a nice one to do. Either that or I give everyone plenty of food or plenty of everything perhaps. Just to get a little bit more out of it. But uh, if I did this and I had this one on then it would be plenty of everything but the food. But realistically they would cancel each other out. So it's not really much point in doing it. I may as well just turn off food saver. Uh, we are losing a little bit of unity per month though at the moment. So that, that will definitely be a helpful one there. If we can remove that and just see how that impacts our overall supply of materials and there we go we've got the uh, cracking unit set up and running that should actually run marvelously okay well the next step then now that we've greatly expanded our ability to bring in uh, fuel is to double up the refinery uh, that is actually going to take me a little bit of finagling to do. This does take a while to set up, so uh, I will save you the bother of watching it. I shall bring you back in just a second. And welcome back. We have finished, well, laying everything down. We haven't quite finished building everything, but we have one new full, uh, fully functioning stack here for the refinery, and the second one is on the way. We've also made a great deal of progress with our research. We've got both ship bridge one, uh, sorry, two and uh, engine two, and we have also just completed conveyor belt suit so we've moved on to uh, the larger fuel station uh, little by little more and more of this is coming alive and we are at the moment doing quite well for excess fuel just uh, held by the ship they can't even unload everything that it's got as far as food goes we're doing relatively okay uh, more food is being uh, pumped down right now off the conveyor belt so we should see all of that go back up and fertility is at an all-time high and we're actually stockpiling ammonia which means we're not using up our, uh, our fertilizer as fast as we're making it now We've been having quite a devil of a time over here with these excavators because they keep collapsing trees on themselves and then getting stuck um, in a moment, we'll probably see a pickup car get to its destination because the excavator wants to go in service is kind of all over the place. Oh no, actually this time they managed to avoid it. But that has been back and forth, back and forth. Ex uh, trucks haven't been able to get to the excavators to unload them because they're basically completely blocked off because of the, uh, the landslides that the excavators are making. But we are making great progress up here. Let's actually uh, see how much further they have to go. We're, well, I, I'd say we're, we're complete up to 24, but realistically we're digging into 28 at this point. And uh, that is means we've only got two more layers to go before we've got a little area of flattening to do before we start on the second part of our ramp. So I'm actually really happy with the progress that we've made in regards to the excavators so far. As for everything else, we've finally gotten to the point where we no longer have any more wood back here, so we've switched over to steel. Has that put a lot of strain on our steel reserves? Yes, yes it has. And I've not really been noticing too much of an improvement down here. We are still uh, awaiting steel deliveries to get the trucks on the go, so I'm starting to think we probably do need at least one extra uh, line 
of steel smelting over here. Now the problem with that is one extra line of steel smelting is almost certainly going to require a bit of extra uh, O2 being produced. Now if I have a look at these, I think both of them together, uh, where, how much do they require every 60 seconds? It's eight. Oh, actually this probably does manage it actually. If we have a look into the smeltery, it'll probably be a little bit easier if I have a look at that. That requires, no, sorry, 12 every 60 seconds. The 8 was how much was in storage. And if we then look to the air separator, no, that produces 24. So we could actually have another double stack if we uh, really wanted to. And it might be worth it, but I would have to go for a rather expansive redesign in this area if I did that. And that's something I kind of want to avoid if I can if I can manage it. That being said, most of these lines aren't actually in uh, connection with one another. Uh, the only one I think we are doubling up on is the uh, the slag from these two blast furnaces being piped down there. So we could, if we wanted to, work on that. But I think in order to make that happen, we need to redesignate the area that we're mining. I think we would need to mine this area back a bit to make a little bit more room. Uh, probably something like that, and then drive this, well, actually, you know what, let's go all in and drive all of that back. I'm going to say that given that then, it's time for us to dramatically uh, redesignate our excavators over to this area. We need a lot more work on these zones, I think. Let's do something like that. We'll start digging into this massive mountain. That means we're taking one of you away, and we're bringing you over here instead. You can help out down here, and I'm actually... Well, I'm not going to tie up a large truck there. Uh, that that seems to me like a bit of a, a silly move, honestly. I think uh, the large trucks are a little bit too much carrying capacity for the sorts of jobs that we're going to be doing here. But for the time being, we're going to leave that as it is until we've made a little bit more space, I think. Uh, the other thing we could have done, of course, is uh, dug in a little bit more there and moved the glass smelter back up, which was probably a little bit closer to something that we could do. Hmm. That being said, still, I would like to have all of these up on the same layer, especially now that we've got the upgraded conveyor belts, because then I could have this entire stack served by a single upgraded conveyor belt running the whole length of the stacks. And so I could do away with these additional storages over here. And I think that would be ultimately a nicer design. So we would end up with another four blast furnaces feeding two oxygen furnaces feeding down into two cool uh, cooled casters. And it will require a bit of a redesign, but I think that's something that we can leave for the next uh, for the next uh, episode. Small excavator has no reachable terrain designation. What do you mean you have no reachable terrain designations? Hmm. I think you're telling me fibs. Very much telling me, Fibs, I think. Let's make sure that this is all designated properly there. And then make sure that we're actually using the right designation. Oh, no. We are absolutely not. My bad. We're trying to level it up to level 4. Which is not quite where we're starting. So they were having a little bit of a, a, little bit of a fuss about that. I mean, to be fair... I was asking them to do something impossible, so I guess I'll accept the fuss this once. But there we are. With all of these excavators on board, that shouldn't be too bad. Now, one of the one things we can do to try and help with this is maybe sell off some of our iron, if there's any way that wants it, or the things made from iron. Problem is, most things made from iron are also now made from steel, so it's a little bit uh, six of one and a half a dozen of the other, whether that would make any progress whatsoever. Still, we could actually trade iron straight up for rubber. Could I then trade that? Well, I could trade the rubber for wood. Um, in a bit of a, a, a big roundabout circle. I think it may be better just to add excessive amounts of iron storage for the time being. Or just remove uh, the iron elsewhere. That's always another option. It's not the best option just to build a, a large, uh, like, loose ore pile. But it is something that we could do if we really, really wanted to. Um, but I think instead we will simply expand this out like so and I will have this also drop off to here that is going to give us 
some additional iron storage or at least the iron ore storage for the time being eventually of course we are going to need to move all of these around we'll do exactly the same down here Je well actually we don't need the coal storage we'll take those back but uh, the iron storage definitely let's get all of that quick built and we can then designate this there we go that will work nicely no imports there no imports or exports only imports here there we are and then exactly the same down here no imports but only imports there and that's for iron i need to very expressly tell them what they're allowed to drop off in these locations there we go we should be able to store a lot more iron with that and if i do need to i can do the same over here again uh, once this is all set up obviously we're probably going to want to double up the amount of coal that we can store because we're going to be using this one storage facility for pretty much everything but that should be okay let's have a look at the steel right now it is slowly ever so slowly creeping up so um, generally speaking i'm not too worried about that but at this point we have also finished off the remainder of our refinery system now at this stage i don't think we're going to be expanding this out anymore I don't think we're going to be taking this any further than we've currently got it. And I'm actually pretty happy with the design. It took us a while to get there and to uh, flesh everything out there and actually have a use for it. But we did get there in the end. Uh, currently, I am stripping back this uh, whole facility over here. We no longer have any need for it. So we'll continue to just break that down wherever we can. There we are. But I, do I try only to grab a couple of buildings and conveyors at a time. Because if I did the whole thing, I would crash my logistics fleet completely. Um, and I kind of experienced that a little bit at the beginning, which is why I know that that's what would happen. Uh, so, yeah, try to avoid giving them too many jobs to do. Otherwise, all of a sudden, they won't have time to do any of the other jobs. But uh, for now, I am going to just quick deliver a little bit of steel over there. Get that on the go. We have had to expand this out a little bit more. And by a little bit, I mean quite a lot. Because we actually ran out of places to dump the slag and excess rock. And that caused a bit of a backlog, once again, in our logistics fleet. But overall, I think things are gradually coming back together we are struggling with the deliveries over here though i'm going to bump that up to a priority five i'm going to bump this up to a priority five and hopefully we will see more trucks make a point of going and collecting steel and bringing it over there but i think that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode the big uh, job has been completed we have completely upgraded our food production and at this stage this is probably going to carry us for well, maybe not the entirety of the rest of the game but once we've got corn these three greenhouses especially with two fertilizer plants will almost certainly be enough we have dramatically improved our production of diesel and in fact we've also started recapturing any excess naphtha to add again into the diesel reserve so at this stage i think we're actually pretty pretty solid for that additionally we have removed our reliance on lumber though uh, honestly i'm not entirely convinced that we have enough steel production to have made that move just yet we're kind of limping there at the moment but it's sufficient to get by but i think the next big project is going to be doubling up our steel production and at that stage we should be golden and finally we now have the ability to upgrade both the ship engine and the ship bridge and furthermore uh, i believe we've just upgraded the uh we found the ship radar so if we have a look over here we may find that there is something else that we can do uh there we are so we can go up to the ship bridge three assuming that we can get there and in fact yeah it does look like we can so we may be able to get an even better ship bridge as well and of course Last, but certainly not least, we are starting to decommission the temporary refinery setup. That has been much, much less temporary than I would have liked, and uh, that is, of course, because we have finally run out of fuel. So, uh, quite a busy episode in terms of overall colony progress, though it's mostly been on existing systems rather than new ones. Now, in the next episode, as I mentioned, we would like to expand out our steel production. I would very much like to upgrade our ship into a proper battleship, and then maybe we will start looking to get, uh, well, we'll probably have to expand our housing a little bit, but uh, getting our research lab up and running so we can start looking at things like advanced smelting and ultimately 
power generation, level four, and beyond that, nuclear reactors. I hope you're excited to see all of that content as we are approaching the launch of Early Access, and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, and as always, take care, everyone.